Hey guys, it's Amy at Hello Thrifty, and I have a quick haul of items I picked up from one of my favorite little thrift stores. It's kind of my honey hole. But first I want to show you my shirt. My husband likes to buy me silly shirts. So this one says, thrift it, list it, cha-ching, ship it. It's one of my collection of several silly uh, job-related shirts. So here's what I picked up at my little thrift store. Women's pants and jeans were two for a dollar and um, all adult clothing was one dollar and everything else was half price. So I'll start out with clothing and then a few other items at the end. So these were 50 cents and they are J. Jill slim leg jeans. And I actually do okay with J. Jill on eBay. Doesn't sell for a lot of money, but it sells. Got this nice um, Pendleton skirt set. And, you know, Pendleton used to be a pretty big deal in reselling world when I first started. Um, <clears throat> not so much anymore, but this is a pretty set and uh, it was $2.50 for both. I wasn't gonna get it if it was any, any more than that, but it's a skirt suit. So we've got your plaid wool skirt there and then the matching blazer, um, which I've got buttoned incorrectly. Would look a lot better if I did it right. Um, but I think, actually somebody might just like the blazer um, so I might feature that on my starting photo. Put the blazer side by side with the skirt with a little picture collage. So that won't be a quick sell for sure. Okay, here we have a mini Bowden youth size 1112 sweater. And what I really like about it, it has these elbow patches. So I need to get that listed right away. For 50 cents, and I just sold a pair of these recently. Free people, skinny leg, corduroy pants. Size 29. So that's 50 cents that you don't even have to think about, right? Uh, and then this is another Pendleton skirt suit set. I have sold some Pendleton, Pendleton blazers before. They take some time. This one is, uh, I like that one better, that's pretty. And there's the skirt that goes with it. You just have to find a buyer on that. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have a heavily embroidered denim shirt and it's not a brand name that I know of it's blank NYC but uh, it's also pearl snap so it's got a lot going for it I think somebody will really like that I need to get that listed pretty quickly but it'll still be pretty good for spring I think in some areas so that's a pretty cool look man I'm just messing up these buttons right now on a I'm gonna show you the back again isn't that gorgeous? I would love to wear that. I would totally wear that. Okay. I have this Moth by Anthropology Moth sweater. Bit of a cable knit. I like the bottom there, an open knit, kind of crochet looking bottom. And uh, that is a size medium. I'm going to put that one on the mannequin so that you can really see how it hangs. Then I have a Banana Republic denim shirt. And what I liked about this was the fraying on the bottom and kind of the, the hemline there. It's a high-low kind of cropped in the front. So that has a really good look to it. I'm not sure if that was done by hand or if that was the way it was in the store, but I think it's really on trend. So I'm gonna sell it as it is. And we have, and again, I don't pick up all um, J. Jill. 
but eh. and I thought this was J. Jill when I first picked it up, but this is actually L.L. Bean, but same thing. This is a 100% linen shirt, and linen just tends to sell well um, in all kinds of brands. So this would be a great eBay item, um, but J. Jill also. I don't pick up all J. Jill anymore, but the Love Linen line always sells for me, and I think there might be one of those in here. Okay. And Taylor Loft, um, I was going to say recently that I, I don't buy it anymore. It's not selling, but I think I've sold six or seven Loft pieces in the last month. Um, not for big money, but anyway, this is a polka dot blazer. And some people just love polka dots and black and white and... Um, I'm not sure if I would call that peplum or not, but it's a ruffle on the bottom, back and front. So I guess it kind of is kind of a semi peplum bottom. So I think somebody will like that. I mean, it was a dollar. Okay. This is t by Tea Bags. And it is a skirt. And that was a dollar. Oh, that was really different. I haven't researched that one yet, but it seems like I remember it being good, but don't take my word for it. Um, I'm going to have to do my further research because this is the first time I've looked at this stuff since I bought it. Okay, here we have the pencil skirt by J. Crew. I have sold this style of skirt multiple times. Um, and this one is a size zero, so it might take a little bit longer, but that's a wool, um, let's see, hound's tooth, hound's tooth print on that skirt. So it might take until next winter to sell that, but pick that up for a dollar. Let's see, this would have been half off. This is a fossil crossbody bag. I think it's the keeper. The keeper style has uh, sold well for me many, many times. Um, the leather bags and fossil obviously go way, way better than these uh, vinyl. I think it's a coated canvas. Um, but I do sell these, and this was $2.50. I expect to sell it for about $15. Almost never pass up a denim jacket. It's a little bit on the cropped side, and it's got jewels and embellishments on there, and that can really draw somebody to it. It's a size large. Hmm. Yet again, one of those things I might have to try on. I have two denim jackets, though. I don't think I need that. Okay, this is Denim & Company again, like I talked about last week. I've sold several. Now, this one's a size small. Denim & Company sells better for me in the larger sizes, but look at all that embroidery. So, I think somebody will definitely want that. Have a pair of overalls, and they're new with tags. Um, I'm not familiar with the brand. It says Ridgefield Overalls. Um, it doesn't have an original price on it. It's a size 30, so it's a European size. Oh, well, actually, I guess that was just the store. These are Obey brand. Obey. And they're, um, a little bit different. I hope I can find a stock photo on these. It's going to be hard to really show how they fit. And my mannequin, oh, dressing a mannequin in a one-piece pant outfit, like a romper or something. You have to manhandle that thing. I mean, she's bigger than I am. She's taller than I am, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, some new with tags. Obey, women's skinny leg with a cuff overalls. Yeah, I think somebody's going to love those. Okay, and this is a new with tags, J. Crew acrylic super fine alpaca and merino wool cardigan. Okay, and then we have just a couple of items that are hard goods, and I'll save the best for last. 
Uh, I got this necklace. I just thought it was very unique looking. It seems like good quality. It's heavy. I love the black and white with splashes of red. And I got two camera lenses. They're Sony camera lenses. And uh, they have the, the caps. I looked at this one up. It looks like it should sell for about 25. And then it's the beautiful thing about Sony. You don't have to have any idea what you're selling. Sony has a, a stock number, a model number on everything, everything. And a lot of Sony products sell. Sony, Sony is a really good brand for resale. I'll look up almost anything that I come across that's Sony that's in good condition, whether it seems obsolete or not. Um, but this one looks like it might sell for about $60. And so those were $5 a piece. And then the most exciting thing. It's... I think this is the first item I have ever come across by this brand. The, this case is worn and the sunglasses. Oh look, I even have a, still have the cleaning cloth. The sunglasses, look, they're, they're loose. Uh, I'm definitely need, gonna need to tighten those up. Um, I thought they felt awful light, you know, I don't see any scratches on the lenses, um, but there's the sides. Pretty cool looking. Uh, but I looked at the number on the inside of the arm. Hmm, I like them. I feel kind of bougie. Can a can a thirty seven year old mom use the term bougie? I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. Um, I looked up this number on the inside of the arm and it matched. When I looked them up, other ones um, on you know several other cross websites. So um, I think we've got a good authentic item here. I paid twenty dollars for these, so I would expect to sell these for seventy-five to a hundred dollars on Poshmark. Or actually, I've sold sunglasses on Mercari, um, so I'll probably put it on all three platforms um, because I would much rather sell those than keep them. Cause I've got some nice sunglasses myself that were a gift that I just... I'm back. Once I finished that haul, I was like, no, no, no. There's something missing for sure. Went back out to the van. There was an entire bag left. So maybe the haul is not that small. I sound like Dr. Seuss. The haul was not so small. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Flax. If you don't know the brand Flax, it doesn't look like much, but it always, always sells. It has a big following. It's another one of those linen type brands. Um, and this one, whoo, that tag is faded, so I'm gonna have a, I have trouble seeing the size. But anyway, uh, I've, I've got a cool little uh, hemline there. It's more fitted, um, so that'll be a good seller. I have. It's really nice Talbot's sweater. It's 60% uh, merino wool, 27% lamb's wool, 8% angora rabbit hair, and 5% nylon. This is really nice sweater. I wish I had had this a few months ago. It's got a hook and eye closure on there. I'll just hold it up like this. It's so, so soft. And uh, it's just good quality, you can tell. So Talbot's is something that's just you just have to go on what it is um, before you choose to buy it or not. Because I do sell Talbots, but some of it won't move. Uh, this is a Soma shirt. And Soma used to sell really well, and now it, it still sells. All right, that actually might be a small dress, which is even, but yeah, it's extra small. So I believe that is a dress, which I think is more desirable than a shirt. So that's great. Didn't want to pass that up for a dollar. <clears throat> okay, yes. How about this for a dollar? Would you have picked this up for a dollar? You really have to think hard about it. St. John Collection for a dollar. Why didn't I have this at Christmas time? But Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, 
It's got these beautiful red buttons and all of the buttons say St. John on them. It's got kind of a, a metallic kind of uh, thread in it. Um, we're talking when this was new, four or $500. Um, maybe more. I'm no expert on the original retail, just on resale. So I think this is the best St. John piece I've ever come up with. And I think it's about the fifth that I've come up with altogether. So um, that was my most exciting purchase on that day. And this is the one that I was like, wait, 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 I'm missing something. This is the one that I knew I didn't see in that bag. That's how I knew I had more. Let's see. This is a cabbie hooded zip front sweater cabby always has a style number on the tag so it's very easy to find um, the name of it so that you can look it up let's see inside here yes yeah, style number 129 so I'll be able to look that up and easily find a stock photo and the um, the name of the top and let's see I'll zip it up so you can see the structure a little better unless it's just going to take all this time on this dead space on the video hmm no nope, we're not going to do that today because amy doesn't want to figure out how to edit the video it's a pretty nice sweater okay <laughs> this is a michael stars one size this will I like the way that hangs. Uh, I think that'll look good once she gets on the mannequin. Picked up several Life is Good pieces that day. It's a long sleeve Life is Good shirt. These always sell quickly. Excuse the wrinkles. Spread the love. Again, a great Valentine's Day item. I'm going to have to separate these out and list them ASAP. This one is a floral guitar. And it says life is good. That is cute. Okay, this is another very expensive, what I like to call rich lady brand. Um, kind of high class. Makes me think of like Emily Gilmore on the Gilmore Girls, something she would wear. Um, Doncaster is very expensive, but I have not had luck selling it for a lot of money. Um, but when you come across something in great condition for a dollar in a high-end brand, you have to try it. I probably need to look into sending things like this in to uh, some of these online consignment type places. But there's a Doncaster jacket. I bet that came from the same person who had the St. John. This is a Zozo open knit cardigan. I have sold this brand before. I kind of thought twice about it because I don't remember exactly what it went for, but um, it was a dollar. <laughs> that, that's all I have to say about it. It was, it, it was a dollar. Let's see. This is a J. Crew merino wool and rabbit hair and cashmere turtleneck sweater. It's cable knit, black, great condition, a vibrant black. It's not faded at all. Um, I'll go ahead and list it, but it might have to wait until next season to sell. Here's another Life is Good. This one's got a little mark on it. I'll probably wash it, but it doesn't look like, it looks like it's just kind of a bit of a bleach type stain but life is good will still sell in that condition it just adds to the look of it sometimes okay this is a t t e a kids i assume kids i think it's a kids only brand it says size seven so i think that must be a dress i might have to have my little girl model that And now the last item is a Victoria's Secret hooded jacket. And it's just plain black, it looks like. Um, it's got Love Victoria's Secret on the pocket. 
So it was hard to pass up. These used to be really exciting. Um, Victoria's Secret would just fly off the shelf and now it still sells, but more like around 10 or $12. But anyway, um, that is, does that complete my haul? Is there more? Hey, look, there's two pieces that fell out of the bag. There's my Love Linen by J. Jill. I uh, was talking earlier about that. That's a, oh, that'll be great for St. Patrick's Day coming up. And I think this might be another one. Yes, this is a J. Jill linen. That one's pretty. I'm gonna get the wrinkles out of that one. That's, I like the look of that. So now that completes my haul. Thanks guys. And I hope that you will subscribe and I hope that I will find the camera and I will look at the right place. That would be helpful if I keep kind of looking over this way. I'm going to get the hang of this one day, you guys. Going to get the hang of it. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.